Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My, my, my precious Facebook Live family, good morning to you. How are you this morning? Oh my God. Hallelujah. This is a good day. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he's good, and his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy it endureth forever. Oh, give thanks mm, unto the Lord, for he's good, and his mercy endureth forever. Family, I would have fainted unless I lived to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on in. God bless you, Facebook family. We're just about ready to get started. So glad to see all of you this morning. Amen, amen. It's been a wonderful, wonderful morning. Ah, it's been a wonderful day. Hallelujah, Brother Abram. We're so glad to see you this morning. Certainly, we bless the Lord for Cousin Pat, and I pray that the Lord blessed you to have a glorious birthday on yesterday. Amen, and we're grateful for Armor Bearer Mosby chiming in with us this morning. Our God is so good, and it's high time. It's high time, Brother Larry. It's high time to pray. Hallelujah. We're going right into our lesson this morning. Amen. That's going to lead us into prayer. Our scripture lesson this morning. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord, all ye people. Amen. Remember to like and share, share, share. Amen. To have some important words from the Lord that we want to encourage one another this morning. For this is a time, Zion, mm, where we need to encourage one another. Hallelujah. We need to show comfort. We need to show love, warmth to one another. This is the time. If there ever was a time, and Lord knows always kindness is in the formula. Kindness to one another. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Amen. Sister Steele, God bless you. Welcome, welcome, welcome this morning as we began to uh, go before the Lord in prayer. We'll go to our scripture first. But we want to know how important it is for us to encourage one another. Sometimes we need encouragement because sometimes this life can be difficult. Hallelujah. So I have a passage of scripture I want to read for your hearing today out of the book of Acts. Amen. And it's uh, divided into... Four sections of scripture, so I'll read for your hearing. Ah, uh, because it's high time. It's high time to pray. Hallelujah. It's high time to pray. Apostle Leander, God bless you. It's high time to pray. Hallelujah. I enjoyed you and Bishop Parche on uh, yesterday. Amen. That was so wonderful. Our scripture for this morning found out of Acts 4, 36, then 9, 26, 27, and 11, 23, or 22, 26. And then we're going to wrap it up at Acts 15, 36 through 41. So we're going to read that for our hearing evangelist, Madeline, that the Lord will just bless us. And he will see how it's so important. We need... 
not only someone in the bunch to be an encourager, but we need to pray, Lord, help us to encourage one another. Help us to encourage one another. Our scripture reading for today as follows. And Joseph, who by the apostle was surnamed Barnabas, which is being interpreted, the son of consolation, a Levite, and of the country of Cyprus, having land, sold it and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. And when Saul was come to Jerusalem, he essayed to join himself to the disciples, but they were all afraid of him and believed not that he was a disciple. But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles and declared unto them how he had not, how he had, excuse me, seen the Lord in the way, and that he had spoken to him, and how he had preached boldly at Damascus in the name of Jesus. Then tidings of these things came unto the ears of the church which was in Jerusalem, and they sent forth Barnabas that he should go as far as Antioch, who then, who when he came, had seen the grace of God, was glad and exhorted them all, that with purpose of heart they should cleave unto the Lord. For he was a good man, and full of the Holy Ghost and of faith, and much people was added unto the Lord, then departed Barnabas to Tarsus for to seek Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch, and it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. And some days after Paul said unto Barnabas, Let us go and visit the brethren in every city where we have preached the word of the Lord and see how they do. And Barnabas determined to take them with them, John, whose surname was Mark. But Paul thought not good to take with him with them, who departed from them from Pamphylia and went not with them to the work. And the contention was so sharp between them that they departed asunder one from another. And so Barnabas took Mark and sailed unto Cyprus. And Paul chose Silas and departed being recommended by the brethren unto the grace of God. And he went through Syria and Silica, confirming, hallelujah, churches. And this is the reading of the Lord for this morning. Hallelujah. So we're speaking on Barnabas, and his name meant encourager. He was an encourager. He knew how to bring comfort, consolation to those that he were around. And this is what we're going to pray for this morning, Zion. That God will help us to bear one another's burdens. That God will help us encourage one another. Because sometimes contentions will rise, Elder Scott. Because, see, you may not see things exactly the way I see them, and I might not feel you. So, therefore, I really don't care for you. However, we must, being that we have this Holy Spirit, encourage one another. We must adopt ways in our lives daily that we can help. We can encourage one another. These are trying times. Sharing material blessings, that can be an encouragement to others. Sometimes you don't know what to say, but if you send a card and put some money in it, it'll brighten somebody's day. 
Hallelujah. I'll never forget when my mother was in the hospital at this time. Uh, she was uh, very sick because she had, had been in a terrible accident, car automobile accident. And uh, she had stayed in intensive care for three weeks waiting for them to be able to do the surgery because she had broken her hip and fractured some other bones near there. And, oh, it was horrible. And so many thought that she wouldn't make it. Hallelujah. How about that? Oh, but God. Honey, you know I wasn't going to let her go. I'm like, child, I got work for you to do. <laughs> How about that? So you can't leave here. I got work for you to do. It matters not. Oh, I think at that time she might have been about 72 or so. It matters not what others say. You're going to live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. Hallelujah. So anyway, of course, the Lord did raise her up. But I often think how it's so important that we encourage one another. Amen. Just because uh, sometimes the physicians may give us a doom and gloom report. The Bible is clear when it says, whose report will you believe? For I shall believe the report of the Lord. We need to know our words so that we can encourage ourselves and encourage each other. Hallelujah. There is absolutely nothing too hard for God. And, and I believed it. Hallelujah. I believed it when she was about 55. If he could heal a pancreatic cancer. Hallelujah. This was something he could do now. Hallelujah. Because I'm aware of what you can do. I've seen you. Heal my father of alcoholism, cold turkey. Hallelujah. Didn't have no five-step, 10-step, 12-step program. Hallelujah. And I've seen you do it. So I know that this too can be another trophy on our shelf. You can do this too. So that's why, Zion, this morning as we come to you, we want to pray that the Lord help us to encourage one another. This is a time when we're all going through so much grief and sadness. I've never seen so much in my life. Hallelujah. And I do want to uh, say to my little cousin, well, she's my niece, to my niece Alexis and the loss of her cousin, uh, Brother Woods, Dominique Woods, that we're praying for you. We're praying for the Wood, the Bowman, the Ella family. The Logan Park family, we're praying for you that God will strengthen your heart, encourage your heart, comfort your heart. And while I'm on that note, just let me thank the Logan Park Assembly family for encouraging their former pastor, Bishop George L. Stearns, in his 97th drive-by birthday yesterday. That was so, that encouraged him. That's going to help him live some more days. Because you demonstrated love and affection. And that's what we have to do. We have to encourage somebody. Sometimes if it means, some, sometimes we got so much in our closets, in our cupboards. We need to learn to share. Encourage somebody. You got more than enough. But you sit there and you won't share. You need to start sharing what you have today. Hallelujah. Don't wait till you die. Because your children may not do what you want them to do. You need to encourage somebody today. Hallelujah. And so this is what happened here in this passage of scripture. Hallelujah. And note that the church, we should be able to. To put aside the past life of, un, of saved individuals. When somebody is saved, whatever they did is under the blood. It's no need in us being deep sea scuba divers. Oh, I, I remember when she did this. I remember when he did that. Listen, if God had forgot it and put it in the sea, Brother Abel, as far as the east is from the west, you need to zip it. 
shut it down. Hallelujah. Because that's a done deal. That's the old vow. Or that's the old Madeline. Huh? But we're new creatures in Christ Jesus. Don't bring that stuff back up. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Unless you are using it for a testimony to encourage someone else. Otherwise, some of that stuff, it shouldn't even be mentioned. It ain't showing you nobody who you are. Hallelujah. And for us, Zion, before we go into prayer, one more thought. That we must stand up for those whose evidence changed. Some people that you are talking about, your cousin, your auntie talking about, you know they've changed. But you yet are determined to bring up stuff that happened to them 50, 60 years ago. You need to zip it. You need to stop. It's time for us to support and encourage one another. Support and cover one another. Hallelujah. You want to bear the fruits of the Spirit? Hallelujah. Then show kindness one to another. It's a shame. Somebody has to die to bring us together. It's an absolute shame. It's pitiful. It's pitiful. Hallelujah. But you ought to love your brother and sisters. It matters not if they're not the same color you are, if they're not the same height or whatever. You ought to love them anyway. Hallelujah. And sometimes, and we finna pray. We talking about encouraging one another, bearing one another's burdens. Hallelujah. And it's, it's, it's a tragedy this day and this time. Uh, Brother Dominique was 19 years old. Uh, I give uh, condolences to the Protho family and his little nephew. He was 19 years old. And there was another family earlier this week who lost a 19-year-old child. Three people. Their families are hurting. We need to encourage them. Regardless of the life that they lived, if it was sanctified, if it wouldn't, we need to encourage those families. Because I'm reminded what my mother said after losing uh, four daughters. That there's no hurt like losing a child. So with that, we need to find some way to encourage one another. Because some of us are hurting. And my heart hurts for Sister Nikki. Hallelujah. It hurts. So how much more is her heart hurting? So let us learn to encourage one another, to bear one another's burdens during these times. And we're going forth in prayer. God bless you. Glory, Father, in the name of Jesus. We come to you thanking you, Lord, for what you've already done for us. For how you've already sustained us in the midst of the many crises that we face. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah, because we do love you. Hallelujah. And it is our desire always to demonstrate your love as we go forward. Oh, God, in this day and in this hour. Father, we pray, oh, God, that you just continue to help us as we help one another. And, Father, we thank you, Lord, because you've been so good to us. Hallelujah. In the midst of the heat, in the midst of the storms, in the midst of the tornadoes and the hurricanes that are approaching, in the midst of the virus, hallelujah, you've yet sustained us. And we're grateful. We don't take it lightly. We're grateful, Lord. And we stop by, hallelujah, this early morning, with the early morning crew, 6 a.m. crew, to tell you thank you. Thank you because you've been so mindful of us. We want to thank you, hallelujah, because we know, hallelujah, that we haven't always been where we are now. Mm. For some, hallelujah, including myself, hallelujah, the world should have been shouting for joy when we committed our lives to you. 
Hallelujah. And Lord, we thank you for those who were wise enough to stand in the gap for us. Hallelujah. And to pray for us. We thank you, Lord, for those that stood in the gap for us. Hallelujah. To tell the Lord, save my son. Save my daughter, Lord. They don't know what they're doing. They don't have sense enough to realize that this could be their very demise. But Lord, I'm asking you for mercy. <laughs> Glory. We thank God for the praying mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers and aunts and uncles. Huh? Yeah, we do. We thank you, Lord. Mm. Because you've been so good to us. Oh, God, we thank you because we know it's high time. It's high time to pray. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord, for covering us, shielding us, and protecting us from seen and unseen danger. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For saving us and sanctifying us and allowing us, Lord, to stand in the gap. For those that yet don't know you in the pardon of their sins. Lord, we're praying for them this morning. Hallelujah. That you will send someone into their life to encourage them to turn from their wicked ways. To turn from their ways that are ungodly. To turn from their ways that are unholy. That they will seek you. While you may be found to call upon you hmm. while you are near. Lord, we thank you this morning. We thank you this morning, hallelujah, for granting us grace to go through in these turbulent times, these times of uncertainty. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for covering our people. Oh, God, even that are in these nursing homes as this deadly virus breaks out. But, Father, mm, we pray that you cover our people. Hallelujah. You cover our people in these facilities. Hallelujah. For you said it wouldn't come nigh them. Lord, cover our people. We calling you on your word. You said in your word for us to remind you of your word. Not that you forgot, but so that we'll know. Hey, you're a keeper of your word. I believe you. I'm trusting in you. For there's no other help that I know this morning. Hallelujah. Depending on you. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, we are. We're depending on you. I stand in agreement this morning with Brother Marcus, Lord, that you have mercy upon us. Grant us grace to go through this needful hour. Father, we pray, oh God, as our prayer is this morning, that you help us to bear one another burden. Anything that I can do for you to help you to go through your crisis. Hallelujah. You ought to be able to ask it of me. And I ought to be willing. I mean willing to do it. Why? We're brothers and sisters in the Lord. Hallelujah. And where it may be easy for me today, it may be difficult for you tonight. Because we don't know, hallelujah, before the sun goes down tonight, what we're going to have to face. And I think we all can answer to that. Hallelujah. But Lord, we come unto you thanking you. Ah, glory. We thank you for your grace, your mercy. And we thank you, Lord, for giving us the spirit to encourage one another. Give us, Lord, the spirit to lift one another up, to bear one another's burdens, not to be so critical. Hallelujah. Because I don't look like you. I don't sound like you. Hallelujah. So what? Honey, if you're baptized in the body of Christ, full of his Holy Spirit, we are one. Hallelujah. So let us conduct ourselves in that manner. And Father, this is our prayer this morning. Help us. Mm. 
Ah, yeah, my glory. Hallelujah. Because we need to come to the decision that I'm on my way up. I don't have time for the petty stuff. I'm on my way up. Hallelujah. It's checking out time not only for you and for me, but for all of us. And we need to make our calling and election sure. Sometimes, as we see so many loved ones and different ones that are going by the way of the grave, they gave God no attention. But when someone dies, it's just befitting. It seems like everybody, hey, rest in heaven, rest in heaven. But you need to make sure that you've done something for the Lord to rest in heaven. Because it matters not what the preacher say, whether the preacher puts you in heaven or hell. That's just words. But you need to make sure before you close your eyes that you have done something for the Lord. What have you done for the Lord lately? Huh? Huh? Some of us are sitting on barrels of everything that Susie and Sally need, but we're not going to offer up a thing. Come on, loosen up. Let the Lord use you. If he don't use you in this hour, it won't be another hour. Let the Lord use you today. Be an encouragement to somebody. Huh? Huh? I'm telling you, I'm just so delighted. Hallelujah. I was dropping off a birthday gift to uh, one of the little babies I baptized. I turned, uh, well, not baptized, but Christianed. Had turned three years old. And I passed by Logan Park, saw all the cars. I was just excited. Hallelujah. To come home and get on Facebook. As I tell people, Facebook is your daily newspaper. <laughs> it keeps you up to date on what's going on in your community, your state, and your nation. To find out that they're doing a drive-by birthday celebration for Bishop Stearns. Now, how wonderful is that? That encouraged that man. Hallelujah. I don't have to ask his daughter. I know it encouraged him. He was so glad. Hey, good to see you. I love you. I love you too. That made his day. What have you done to encourage somebody? Huh? Or are you sitting somewhere with a negative attitude? You need to encourage somebody today. No, they may not say everything you like. No, they may not. Because if they declare the word of God, they probably won't. Hallelujah. But you need to encourage somebody today. Pray. Lord, we're praying that you help us to encourage one another. Huh? We ain't got to go no further. That's our prayer. Help us, Lord. Mm. Help us to encourage one another. Hallelujah. We see hallelujah in this passage. Of scripture, hallelujah, that it was just imperative that they took time out, hallelujah, Barnabas took time out, hallelujah, to let the brother know, hey, this is a good guy, he's with us, he's born again, he's one of our baptized believers, huh, filled with the Holy Ghost. See, you're still looking at that old stuff. You're still trying to do some deep sea diving. But you need to encourage somebody today. Hallelujah. He said, Barnabas told him, he said, for uh, he's a good man, full of the Holy Ghost and of faith. And much people was added to the Lord through the ministry. Huh? So Zion, let us take heed to bear one another's burdens. Let us encourage one another. That's what we're praying for. Lord, help us. Show us how we can encourage somebody today. Don't wait till tomorrow. They may not be here tomorrow. 
something happened to them tomorrow, then you come with a big old rose bouquet, a big old uh, pot of greens at the casket. They can't smell none of that stuff. Thank God for the sister that brought Bishop Stirs a cake. Let him eat a piece of cake today. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we need to encourage one another, Zion. Hallelujah. God wants us to encourage one another. This is our prayer. Hallelujah. Come on, this is our prayer. We ain't got to go no further. Let's get this in our spirits. Lord, help me to encourage somebody today. Huh? Hallelujah, because opportunities to overcome past failures must be given. Huh? Some of you know, you, child, please. If somebody wrote down everything you did every time they said, praise the Lord, they wouldn't say praise the Lord to you. But because God has forgiven you, just as he forgiven me, don't hold that against us. Don't hold it against us. But you better be rejoicing in the Lord that God saw fit to encourage us to sanctify us. Because see, some of these folk out here that ain't saved, they're going to bring hell and havoc to your home. So you better be thanking the Lord for everybody that the Lord touch, for every heart that the Lord touch. Hallelujah. Kindness extended to us. God have extended so much kindness to us, Brother Mark. And that's why it's so important we extend it to others. Stop being so harsh and evil and wicked. So rebuttal. Huh? Are you a goat or are you a sheep? Make your calling and election sure. We praying, Lord, help us to encourage one another. Help us to bear one another's burdens. And Father, we pray. Mm. Hallelujah for those that are mourning and sad this morning. That you somehow will just... Cover them. Cover them with your comfort. Lift up their hearts, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. For you're the God of comfort. And I know you can do it, Lord. Hallelujah. Comfort hearts. Give them, Lord, that tenacity. I could go another day. Because I know God is with me. I can go another day. We pray for all of our caregivers this morning. Hallelujah. That God will grant them grace. And God will grant them wisdom. As they go in and out those facilities. To be cautious. To be careful. Hallelujah. Oh God. Hallelujah. We pray Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all those that are incarcerated, Lord, that you will just comfort their hearts today. As they go through their crises, hallelujah, that you will give them wisdom to submit and surrender their hearts unto you. Oh, God, we need you this morning. We need you, and we need laborers, for the harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. And Lord, this morning we stop and we pray for laborers. Laborers, hallelujah, to help us as we continue to fight the good fight of faith. We pray for every backslider. Come on home. Come on home, backslider, because it's going to rain. It's going to rain. Hallelujah. Come on in the ark now. It's going to rain. Hallelujah. I remember Sister Maddie B. Poole singing them songs. We woke up to the album every morning. Hallelujah. For years. It's going to rain down fire. 
This is not a fairy tale. This is the book. This is the word of God. Don't take it lightly. Teach it and share it with your children. They need to come out from among these people that are gangbanging. Hallelujah. That are doing all of this evil, wicked violence. Come on out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. Huh? Oh, my God. We pray for all of our essential workers. The task is at hand. And we thank the Lord for them doing as well as they're doing with the equipment that they have. It can't be an easy task. But Lord, we thank you that you've given them the ability and the strength to go forward, oh God, to help save the lives of the people. Help them, Lord. And Father, we pray, hallelujah. While we're on that note, hallelujah, we pray that you will give us wisdom to do those things that the scientists have Stated that will possibly save many lives. That's to wear our masks. Hallelujah. Wear your facial covering. Wash your hands. Social distance. It's just not safe. Hallelujah. During this time. And I know some of you think, oh, well, God, you know, will deliver us from anything. Yeah, but he also said, yield not to temptation. For yielding is sin. So even though you may have the faith to never wear a mask or uh, to never wash your hands and social distance, hey, I'm not going to tempt God. I'm going to do what I can. Hallelujah. I'm going to do what I can to help cure or help stop the spread of this virus. And we know that our God is all powerful. Hallelujah. He can do it with just a spoken word. But he hasn't done it. He hasn't done it yet. So until he do, let us follow the protocol and do what we're supposed to do. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, because you've been so good to us. We thank you and we pray for those that are afflicted and sick. Oh, God, you said you're a healer of all manner of sickness and disease. And, Father, we pray that you touch them right now. From the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, give them complete deliverance, Lord, as they stretch out on you. Believe in your word, because you are a keeper of your word. You said by your stripes we are already healed. And, Lord, I, along with so many others on this Facebook Live and their families, I believe in you every day to manifest your total healing in our lives. Father, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God, because you've been so good to us. And we thank you, Lord, that you continue to bless those without parents. Bless the orphans, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray, oh, God, for those that have you in their hearts, Lord Jesus, that you will bless each one. Bless each one of us, Lord, to even as today is Sunday, your day. Bless each one of us to show some encouragement and kindness to somebody. That they'll have a desire to say, hmm, wow, she's pretty nice after all. He's pretty nice after all. You don't know how far it goes when you encourage somebody. Hallelujah. I had a precious Hallelujah, on a day that I'm telling you, I needed some encouragement. And I had just done the Facebook Live. But I myself was going through a personal crisis, and I needed some encouragement. And that precious called me and said, check your cash app. Honey, that encouraged me. Because that let me know, hey, God is with me. Keep on doing what you're doing. Somebody is being encouraged. And when you encourage others, God will encourage you. 
It means something. I appreciate each and every one of you that come on this Facebook Live on early Sunday morning and Wednesdays with me. I appreciate that. Because there's 20 other things you could be doing. But because you chose to support this ministry that the Lord have given me or given the Gospel Truth Apostolic Ministry, I, I appreciate it. I don't take it for granted. I appreciate you. I appreciate all of our partners in ministry. And we pray for you right now. That the Lord will overflow your bonds. Hallelujah. God will overflow. Because this is the season. This is what he's doing now. He's overflowing our bonds. Why? Not so we can sit up and hoard and build another one. But that's so we can encourage somebody else. Huh? Hallelujah. I thank God. Hallelujah. That he've afforded me the privilege to be able to sow into somebody else's life. What a privilege it is. And even if you don't have finances, you have words. Hallelujah. That you can say to encourage someone. I thank God for you. I pray for you. Hallelujah. That God will just continue to Open doors for you. I pray that God will save your children and your children's children. Hallelujah. It is my prayer for you this morning. That God will touch those that are afflicted, those that are abused and misused and mishandled. That God will allow somebody to stand up for you. If you don't have the fortitude or the strength to stand up for yourself. I thank God for you. I thank God for my sisters and my brothers. I thank God for you. Out of ten children, there's six of us yet in the land of the living. And I don't get to speak and talk with you all every day, but I thank God for you. Hallelujah. And I pray for you. Hallelujah. Your children and your children's children. That God will continue to strengthen. And I'm so grateful. It does my heart good when I see our loved ones on Facebook doing the work of the ministry. Not on Facebook flashing big wads of money, smoking and doping and drinking, hanging off a bar stool. No. But when you're doing the work of the ministry, honey, that's going to encourage somebody that may be at the point of suicide to stop. Let me hear what he has to say. Let me hear what she has to say, Elder Dean. It encourages us. Hallelujah. So as we go forward this morning, Zion, as we continue to seek the face of God, let us encourage somebody. Let us do something to encourage somebody today. Hallelujah. We pray for our president. We pray for Jerusalem, the U.S. of A., and all the nations of the land. Hallelujah. We pray for all of our elected officials. We pray for the citizens of this city of Gary, Indiana. We pray that God will just continue to enlighten us on different ways of how we can encourage one another. That's our prayer this morning. Lord, help us encourage one of us. Help us to bear one another's burdens in the heat of the day. Hallelujah. I know it's times of social distancing and sometimes people don't want you just all uh, swamping their homes. I understand that. But you could pick up the phone or you could write a note or a message. Hallelujah. To encourage them. Matter of fact, that's a good point for you to type in. Hallelujah. Come on, help me today. Hallelujah. Type in encourage somebody today. Encourage somebody today. Type that in your comments. Encourage 
somebody today. Hallelujah. We that are carriers of this great gospel, we that say we're spirit-filled, full of the Holy Ghost and water baptized, Elder Scott, let us encourage someone today. Let us stop and encourage someone today. That is our prayer. And as you encourage someone today, Sister Steele, the Lord will send someone along to encourage you. Hallelujah. For God have said in his word, if we that said we're believers, if we would repent, if we would turn from those ungodly ways, huh? Some of you know you got some ungodly ways. You need to repent and do your first work over again. Repent. Ask the Lord to forgive you. Lord, I haven't treated sister so-and-so right. I haven't treated pastor so-and-so right. And you know you haven't. Hallelujah. But she going on in the Lord. Why? Because God has someone's always in the wings that will encourage you when you practice encouraging somebody else. Encourage someone today. That's our prayer. If we would just humble ourselves, seek the face of the Lord. Huh? He said he would heal the land. And God is not a liar. Let us encourage someone today. Sis, you're doing a great job. Stay on the wall. I love my cousin Pat. Hallelujah. And I didn't want to just tell her happy birthday with a word, but I wanted to show her, hey, I appreciate you. Huh? That's what it's about. Talk is cheap. Everybody doing some talking. But my mother told me years ago, it takes money to buy land. Hallelujah. So show somebody, hey, I want to encourage you this morning. You're doing a good work. Stay on the wall. Hallelujah. God have said in his word to all of us, if we would just repent and be baptized in his name, hallelujah, for the remission of our sins, he said he'd fill us with his Holy Spirit. And when he fills us with his Holy Spirit, hallelujah, baptizes us into the body of Christ, we got a right to encourage somebody. We got a right to bear somebody else's burden. Show some compassion. That's our prayer this morning. That's our prayer. Lord, help us. To show some encouragement to my brother and sister. Help us to bear one another's burdens. We thank you. In closing for every gospel trooper. Hallelujah. Thank you for all of our partners in ministry. Thank you for those that have sold into this good ground. May the Lord bless you abundantly even a thousand times more is my prayer. We pray that the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you as you continue to encourage others in this rich gospel that he have given you to carry across this land. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you. That is our prayer. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you, Facebook family. Be encouraged. Know that God loves you. And I love you. I love you. Hallelujah. The more you say it, the more it'll happen. I love you. This has been Pastor Valerie Clark. Hallelujah. On It's High Time to Pray with Pastor Val. May the Lord bless you. 
I see someone has asked, what is the cash app? The cash app is dollar sign Valerie Gospel. V-A-L-E-R-I-E-G-O-S-P-E-L. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause many people to encourage you as you practice encouraging someone today. I love you. I pray for you. Be strong in the Lord in the power of his might. Until we meet again, shalom. God bless you. I love you. Bye-bye.